Uh, so I got an email from a subscriber asking for a little help, and instead of just writing back an email, I figured it'd be a good chance to touch up on a couple techniques. Um, two of the questions he had was, one, how to get a mirrored surface in this bathroom scene, and two, uh, the, I believe this is black glass here, um, and was having difficulty creating that. So I'm going to go walk through the technique just to create black glass and how to put a mirrored surface. And he also asked for a quick settings demonstration on something that could produce a quick uh, rendering for just kind of a sketch. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put a V-Ray Infinite Plane in and I'm going to model a box. So this will just be an object that I can reflect and make a quick wall. Then I'm um, also going to model what will be my mirror. So just put that guy there. Move this into the scene and drag it up on the wall. Um, maybe, maybe move that there. And then lastly, let's go to shaded mode, it's easier to see. Um, I'm going to create another box off of this wall, which will be a black glass wall. And I'm going to copy this box behind it so we can see that there's something behind the glass that'll make it easier. All right, so really super simple scene. I'm not putting any lighting in. I'm not going to mess with the camera settings, um, but everything we need to do is in the materials. So I'm using uh, V-Ray 1.5 and Rhino 5. Um, and let's first make a new material, uh, which will be on the boxes. And this will just be our box material. Um, and I'm just going to set my diffuse color to something nice like orange here. Um, and I can preview that, and it's just a simple diffuse orange. So I'm going to right click and apply these, uh, apply that material to those two boxes. Um, the next thing I want to do is to make the mirror. And the mirror is actually pretty easy to make. If I right click and create a new standard material, I'm going to rename it mirror. Um, the color of the mirror is fine, it's gray. Its transparency is black, which means it's 100% opaque. But I need to add a reflective layer to that. So I'm going to right click the mirror, create layer, and a reflection layer. Um, the reflection layer comes default uh, with uh, a map built in the reflection. And if we go into that map, it's a, a Fresnel, and it's an IOR, this is incident of refraction, is 1.55. Uh, 1.55 is standard for glass, um, but for shinier, or more reflective things, you have to increase that number. So I'm going to go to 24. And if we preview that, we're not going to see any difference here. This doesn't change no matter what I change this number to. If I go 18, it's just a lighter shade of gray. It doesn't actually show me any more reflection. Um, but with just that change, I can click and I can see that the mirror ball here is reflecting the tile, so I know it's working. I'm going to apply that to the mirror object. And now for the black class, I'm going to again right click, create standard material, uh, rename it. I'll click the long one. This is black glass. Um, the color of the glass doesn't really matter because its transparency is going to be really, really high. So we want to change the transparency of its diffuse map to white or close to it. Maybe it's not 100% transparent. Um, the next thing we have to do is to add a reflection layer just like we had before. This time we don't have to mess with the IOR. Again, the default is 1.55, so we can leave that alone. I'm going to cancel close reflection. We also need to add a refraction layer. Um, so if I right click, add a refraction layer to the black glass. Uh, you can see now the standard um, is, is this kind of white clear glass. Uh, you can see it's refracting light and it's reflecting the floor um, to change and make it so that it has kind of a black characteristic to it, a dark glass. I'm going to first turn off uh, affecting the alpha channel. Uh, and I'm just going to set a fog color of not white, but something dark, dark gray here. And now I have kind of what looks to be a black sphere, but it's still see-through. So I'll apply that to my, my, my glass pane here. And you'll notice that I gave some thickness to the, the pane of glass, which is, you know, how glass is in the real world. Just a simple plane wouldn't work. It, you need something with a little bit of thickness and you can vary you know, how thick this is or if you really wanted to get crazy you could put two panes of glass um, which a lot of a lot of windows are actually double paned windows uh, and so you'll get lots of light bouncing inside of that. I'm not going to do that now just for a demonstration. Uh, the final part was what settings would I use and so I'm going to load up um, 
just for quick test settings, uh, a GI IR map low. The, this is a default vis, uh, vis op that comes with V-Ray for Rhino. So if I load that up, um, let's go through the stuff here. I'm not even going to turn on a physical camera. I don't have any lights in the scene. That doesn't really matter. Both of those things would make the rendering take longer, but if I'm just wanting to check my materials and look at a composition of how the scene you know, is going to be in, in the final version, that's all I really need to do. Um, so it renders very quickly. You can see the mirror here is reflecting the orange box. You can see the, the black glass here has some reflections off the mirror, and we can see that it's the, the orange box behind the glass is obviously darker, which makes sense. Um, and that rendering took, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds. We can look from this side. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there you go. Less than 20 seconds, and I can see that all my materials are working. Uh, so I hope that helps, and if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a, me a message below or a comment, or you can send me an email at c.k.mcadams at gmail.com. Thanks.